Hello everyone, my name is Paul Welch and I'm going to give you a quick demo of Kineo's Adapt HTML5 framework. We're going to have a quick look at a course we've produced recently for Logitech. The purpose of the course is to train um, retail staff on, or to make them aware of the Logitech brand and the products that they have, so they can effectively match the product to the particular customer requirement. Let's take a topic, we go in. Uh, probably the first thing to say is we've got nice deep scrolling pages not the more traditional lockdown linear left to right navigation we think this is quite common now we've got a web savvy user group out we've done some user trialing and this hasn't posed any problems uh, we've got also components you've got a text component and a graphics component here we've got a comic book component um, here we've got a reveal component getting under the skin of this particular customer's needs uh, and we've got a, this, we call this a PPQ, uh, where we select various points, PPQ being pinpoint question. I've um, got that question right. More by love than judgment. I guess the big thing to say is with components, these can be organized and mixed and matched in any order the designer wishes. They're not fixed templates. I think where Adapter really gets interesting though is when you consider that it's one course, but it can be viewed and accessed and interacted with on a multitude of different devices. Let's take the menu again. And let's have a quick look at a component. Let's go here. This is a narrative component. Uh, let me um, drag the browser down to a uh, mobile phone size. And let's revisit that component. So exactly the same component, exactly the same content, but completely optimized for a smartphone detects the platform it's on purely by screen size and then serves up the same content but with touch events engaged the format is different let's go back and look at the um, example we were just looking at the the topic we were just looking at here you can see the comic book but rather than the components being arranged across the screen as would be appropriate for a desktop environment here we've got them stacked one on top of the other for a smartphone exactly the same content. We're not saying that because you can deliver or produce a 60 minute course for desktop that you should serve that same course up on the mobile phone, but we can tag components. So you could just, for example, show the summaries on the mobile phone, same course, but you're getting a second use out of the course. You're getting an aid memoir, for example, if you access the course on your smartphone. Fully accessible as well, and a lot easier to translate because you're not locked down to those set text areas obviously you know with translating into German for example you're thinking about 30 40 maybe even 50 percent more copy on the screen not a problem with adapt we've gone for this scrolling approach I should say that the scroll isn't inherent as part of adapt it allows us to adopt that design approach but there's no reason why we couldn't go the more traditional lockdown linear layouts so hopefully that was interesting. Thanks very much for spending a few minutes with me and allow me to demo the ADAPT framework. Keep an eye on our website. We've got lots of useful stuff there, particularly around responsive e-learning design and we've got some exciting news due shortly about the ADAPT framework. Okay, thanks very much. Bye-bye.